Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading here to just take a look at the week ahead of us and see what we have to play with for the week. Okay, the first card is Eight of Fire, Velocity. The second card is Seven of Fire, Initiation. The third card is Keeper of Water, Wisdom. The fourth card is Three of Water, Loyalty. And the fifth card is Major Eight, Balance. Well, this is an interesting energy combination this week. We have a lot of fire right at the beginning, and then we move into emotion. So what that tells me is that we're high energy when we start the week, and that energy kind of calms down and soothes out as we're moving toward the end of the week. So begin your week by recognizing that you're in a stream of energy already. You've got some velocity there. You can take off and really move. Whatever you've already been working on, do more of that this week. Whatever you've already been playing with, do more of that this week. Really enjoy it to its fullest. Explore everything you can about it. And when you're ready to lay that down, recognize that this is a rite of passage. The rite of passage indicated in this one is about learning when to rest. So what I'm seeing here is that the velocity that we have this week is really something that we have a tendency to get caught up in to the point where we'll push ourselves to the extreme. And sometimes that extreme is a little too far to go. Um, so we're learning this week how to discern when it's time to just take a rest, even though the energy flow is really great, and get back to it at another time. That initiation talks about learning when to rest and then step back into the flow of energy. From the initiation, we move into wisdom. To me, the wisdom is related to this particular learning. When we know how to pace ourselves, which is that I've got velocity, I'm taking a rest, I've got velocity again kind of energy. When we know how to pace ourselves, we can maintain what we're trying to do over the long haul instead of just being a sudden burst of energy and then that's all we have for it. So in wisdom in the middle of the week, we rest a little bit here. We find a place where we know that we can lay that thing down that we were doing at the beginning of the week, and it'll still be there for us to come back to as soon as we've got our energy built up again. From wisdom, we move into loyalty. Now, loyalty here is talking about whatever that is we were doing at the beginning of the week. We're dedicated to doing it, and we're learning how to stay dedicated while we pace ourselves for sustainability. When you get to the end of the week, everything is balanced. And what that tells me is that through the course of this week, you successfully figure out how to be as excited and engaged in whatever that process is from the beginning of the week as you want to be, and still take a break and then return to it. You've found your balance in knowing and working on your enthusiasm, acting on that enthusiasm and also creating sustainability in the process. Great job this week. So in summary, move with whatever you're inspired about at the beginning of the week and learn how to give yourself permission to rest when you need to so that you can stay inspired about it for a long time. That is the wisdom that comes at the middle of the week. Keep your dedication and commitment to whatever that process is. And by the end of the week, you will have found your balance. Enjoy this wonderful mix of fire and water this week. The two really support each other very well. 
Have a great week.